All right, next up, we've got San Diego State and Boise State. Uh, San, uh, Boise State, six-point home favorites, 39 the total in this game. There is no freaking way I'm laying six points with Boise. All right, uh, this is a Boise State team that's got problems right now. Uh, they really, the, the wins are even less impressive when you look at them. Uh, they get blown out, of course, first week by Oregon State. We all remember that one because I was on Oregon State. I enjoyed that one rather much, uh, uh, quite a bit. 31-14 against New Mexico and just pushed the closing number. Nothing overly impressive. Tennessee Martin can't put too much stock into that. I was shocked. Couldn't believe it last week against UTEP. Now, I know UTEP on the, at home on a Friday night. They were stoked for that game. But what is to explain UTEP pushing you around at the line of scrimmage? like what happened last week against Boise. It was like they were pushing Boise State off the ball with the run game. Gavin Hardison was given all kinds of time to throw the ball. And they were just, and they were out, the UTEP offensive line, which has had issues this year, completely dominated and owned and bullied Boise State's defensive line throughout that entire football game. And that's an indictment on Boise State. That shouldn't happen to that extent. And then on the flip side, it's time for a quarterback change. Wake up, Andy Avalos. Hank Bachmeyer sucks right now. Okay, all right. We haven't we seen enough of Hank Bachmeyer now to know that he's right now not the guy you want at the quarterback spot for Boise at this point in time. It's time to give that young kid the start. You know he's been waiting in the wings. Uh, apparently the the fan base is calling for him, uh, and we're going to see if he he gets that nod here uh, in this game for uh, Boise State. He's a lot more athletic. He's a lot more mobile. Uh, at the quarterback spot for Boise State uh, compared to uh, Hank Bachmeyer. Uh, and uh, I am talking about, of course, uh, Taylor Green. And I think we are, it, it looks like, going to see him because uh, as early in the week, uh, it looks like uh, Taylor Green's moved up to the number one spot on the depth chart, according to some uh, fantasy websites. So this could be the week where Andy Avalos says, all right, enough's enough. We need a spark. We need better quarterback play. And they'll give this young kid, Taylor Green, uh, the opportunity that he probably should have had last week. Uh, but now I think this could be after that was, that was just an epic disaster for Bachmeyer last week against UTEP. This could be the chance now to get him in there. So we'll see if it sparks the offense. So I, but I don't want to lay six with Boise problem is Connor. I think San Diego state's every bit the hot mess that Boise state is right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready to trust them to move the football with that offense on the road. Uh, they, you know, a barely, barely squeaked past Toledo at home, 17 to 14. That offense still stinks. I mean, they're very lucky that defense came to play and shut down Daquan Finn uh, and the uh, Toledo offense. But Burmeister, another sub 65 passing yards for a whole entire football game, 53% completions this year, only two touchdown passes in four games. He's just a, not, not a good quarterback either. So totals low for a reason here uh, with these two. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, these, yeah. Hey, Cogbar, watching. Uh, yeah, take the under. I mean, I know it's it's crazy low here at forty, but that's the only way to look. You mentioned it. I they were watching that game there in the fourth quarter and just putting the camera on Bachmeyer. They're not taking him out. And he like he talked thirteen to thirty four, ninety one yard, ninety three yards. He was just looked horrible against a UTEP defense that wasn't very good. I mean, I was watching that like this team's gotten shredded. Already lost me money, UTEP. They look unreal right now. I mean, you like you talked about, it was Friday night. Everyone's hyped there. But I don't think Boise's very good right now. This is not good. I and mean, everyone thought this team was going to be pretty good at the start of the year. And I didn't really. But I'd only be on the points and look under. There's just no way. And I, But I'm not rushing to back San Diego State like you talked about. They're just not very good right now. The offense isn't good. And the defense, I think that's a little bit of the problem. It's been leaky. Can they start getting a little bit better? Maybe. So this one, it's either the dog and the under here, but this might just be a full pass in the end. 